All right, Jameis Winston reportedly heading to the New Orleans Saints. Not done yet, but a one-year deal is being negotiated. As of yesterday, it was close. Cam Jordan, very excited about it. He tweeted, negotiating, let's go. I said, Cam wants to eat a W with Jameis. By the way, it was the Superdome in New Orleans where Jameis Winston gave us that gift for the ages of eating a W before a game against the Saints. Cam Jordan says, Jameis is one hell of a competitor with untapped potential. 30 to 30 with goat tutelage, mind blown emoji. I added also 5,100 passing yards. So you put him with Sean Payton. You put him in a position where he's got the Teddy Bridgewater spot. Look, this is, Chris, the first team that I mentioned when it looked like there wasn't going to be a starting job for Jameis Winston. Go to the Saints. Let your career have sort of a palate cleanser. Get a chance to maybe play if Drew Brees gets injured at some point. Or maybe Sean Payton wants to show everyone that Jameis Winston can do it. So you put Winston out on the field once in a while just for giggles. Uh, I, either way, I think this makes a ton of sense for Jameis Winston to go work with Sean Payton for a year, have a chance to play, and maybe be like Teddy Bridgewater next year where you're getting a three-year, $66 million contract even though you've only played five games in five years. Yeah, that, I mean, that's right. But it, it's a great move by Jameis Winston. I mean, to me, yeah, Mike, you said it from the get-go. You're exactly right. You know, I was kind of banging the drum for the Steelers or the 49ers. This would have been my third choice, you know, for those, those reasons, right, Mike? I mean, this is what we talk about. You know, it's not don't go somewhere just to be the starter. Oh, yeah, great. You're the starting quarterback of a, some crappy team, and then you don't play well because the support system around you is not good, and all of a sudden you're back in the same boat next year, maybe out of the league because now, now nobody believes in you. This is the perfect thing for Jameis Winston's career. Like you said, clean palate. He's going to learn some, some new things about football. You know, he's going to learn how to play the position better and at a more efficient, higher, cleaner rate than he ever has. And like you said, if he does get in there, one of the best old lines in football, two good running backs, you know, tight end play, receiver play, all really good with a creative play caller and defense to where, like we saw with Teddy Bridgewater, he didn't have to do great things. He just played well. He took care of the football and they went five and oh. So from Jameis Winston's standpoint, I think it's a brilliant move. And really for the New Orleans Saints, this is really smart as well. Yeah, I agree with you completely. And look, here's the thing, and this was the same situation that we saw last year. If Breeze gets hurt, you need a guy who can run the base offense. Taysom Hill is not going to run the base offense. If and when Taysom Hill becomes the starter, they are going to create an offense for him. And even though Sean Payton suggested at one point in recent weeks that Taysom Hill is ready to be the number two guy, it's clear that that's not the case. This was part of the broader game of either drafting a number two or signing a number two, and that's okay. We understand that sometimes coaches and GMs have to say things they don't mean in order to advance their strategic objectives. They still want to keep Taysom Hill in that Joker wild card jack of all trades that's spot right. and design an offense for him if they decide to make him the starting quarterback. And the bottom line is he's going to be around for the next two years. We don't know what his role will be, but he now has a two-year, $21 million contract to remain with the Saints. It's official. It was announced yesterday. He was due to make about $4.7 million this year, Chris, as a restricted free agent. So they're giving him another $15, $16 million on top of what he was due to make to stick around for one more year. It's kind of like the Jacoby Brissett uh, deal last year at a, at a bit of a lower level. But, you know, here's the bottom line. He gets security. He gets a payday. He never thought he was going to get in the NFL. And he gets that, that, that certainty of two years with the Saints and the opportunity to compete to be the starter next year, and we'll see how that plays out. If they get Jameis Winston, maybe they decide to keep Winston as a starter next year and let Taysom Hill continue to be in the jack-of-all-trades role. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the Saints bought themselves some flexibility. That's the biggest thing. I mean, we all know this is going to be Drew Brees' last year. You know, so to what you said, Mike, yes, they signed Jameis Winston because, yeah, we still got Drew Brees, but the Taysom Hill, you know, gadget runs and that whole offense is a huge part of what they do. So now to have Jameis Winston, they have a traditional backup and they can run those those quarterback, you know, wildcat type plays with Taysom Hill and not worry if he does ding his shoulder or, you know, it hurts his ribs just a little bit. 
to go, oh, now we have no backup quarterback. Now they have Jameis Winston there. So that makes sense. And then as far as the contract is concerned, yes, it buys them some wiggle room for next year too. You know, now they got Taysom Hill locked up. They don't have to worry about negotiating with him once again. They threw some money out to him for this year, for next year. And now they have their guy for next year, and they'll see what happens with Jameis Winston. But, you know, I think it was a win-win situation for Taysom Hill and the New Orleans Saints, as we know, because Drew Hill, Drew Brees is, is out the door after this season. And here's the key. The Saints don't have to worry about messing around with the franchise tag next year to keep That's Taysom Hill right. in place, right? And they've right. saved $9, 10000000 million over what the franchise tag would be via the extra money they're giving him. So it is a win-win. It removes the uncertainty. And they drafted Tommy Stevens in round seven this year, and the immediate reaction is this is a guy who can be like a Taysom Hill for them, right? So he can step into that jack-of-all-trades role if Taysom becomes the starter in 2021. But also, also, Tommy Stevens, since the skill set's similar, he could be the backup to Taysom Hill if Taysom Hill's the starter. Because if you have... Taysom Hill is the starter. You need a number two that can run the same offense. And it's not just about having the quarterback in a position of comfort. You got 10 other guys on the field who don't want to have to rip up one playbook and pick up the other one if the yeah, quarterback right. gets injured. Every t- And this is fundamental. It's amazing, Chris, how many teams don't do this. It is fundamental that you want your number two quarterback to be as much like your number one quarterback from a skill set as possible. And the Saints get it. And I think Stevens is there because they envision still Taysom Hill to be the starter in 2021. Stevens will be a backup with a similar skill set and can run that same offense. No, Mike, I, th- I think you explained it beautifully. I think that's exactly what it is. I mean, he's a guy, Stevens, big. He's really athletic. You know, I think has a chance again for like what, you know, what we've seen when Sean Payton do with Taysom Hill can develop and maybe into a better passer and teach him the position. And there's some potential there, let alone, like you said, when Taysom Hill does take over, if they don't feel like, you know, ramming him through the line of scrimmage in the run game all the time, maybe this guy can develop into being that type of guy too, just to take a little wear and tear off of Hill. So, hey, the, the Saints, Sean Payton, you know, Hey, Orange Crush and Twizzlers, whatever it may be, the guy is always on his game, and he understands how to build a team along with Mickey Loomis. And, you know, that's why you know, this, the, the Saints are who they are. They're, they got a lot of smart people. And Sean Payton, to me, is one of the best coaches we've seen in recent history. Plus, he's got what? the awesome Jordans. I'm surprised he didn't uh, right. the Jordans. He had I know. the Thursday night. The Friday nights were even better. Within, within seconds – my son had an, a, an image from somewhere of what those shoes were, and he sent it to me to make sure I understood that he knows. Check your credit card Payton. bill, all right? Some, Check your yeah, credit yeah. card bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, good point. Uh, but anyway, great shoes, great candy, great quarterbacks, great coach. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.